Hello everybody, what I'm about to show you here, I personally believe is going to be an unbelievable opportunity. This is a calculator that compares retirement plans. So the way it works, and it's not yet been released, so it's kind of like a preview, but the way it works is you're comparing life insurance to 401ks. So if we take a person that's 45 years old and they're going to save till they're 65, they're in a current tax bracket of 20% working, in the retirement tax bracket, the way it's set up is you can change all these numbers. I'm showing you in a PowerPoint just to give you an idea of what's coming. Uh, we have current plan fees. These are the fees that are charged by the 401k carrier. The average is usually over 2%, so we're being very conservative here. Rate of return 7% on both plans, and let's compare apples to apples. So you'll notice right here, if a client is putting in 12500 into a 401k, of course it's pre-tax. So in comparison, if they're in a 20% tax bracket, they would be putting in 10,000 after tax. This gives you a breakdown of the annual fees. You're gonna notice it says included in here because the actual fees of cost of insurance and everything else has been built into the calculation. Gross retirement income, so when they retire, how much money they're gonna to need to net 41,000 in relation to life insurance, it's the true net, 41,000. The cumulative tax is being deferred in the first year, because we're looking at a 45 year old, so this is very first year. Taxes paid, next column, cumulative fees paid, and you're gonna notice out the gate that there's a lot less fees in a 401k in year one versus life insurance. Account balances, there's a difference there obviously and the death benefit. So obviously on a death benefit, they get the value of the account, which is going to be roughly um, this right here after tax, whereas there's a death benefit on life insurance from day one. This represents over here the way we break down the comparison. Really the most important number is this one right here. What is the total advantage? So when we factor in the taxes, the fees, the income taking out, and the death benefit, what is the true net of this investment versus the 401k? So you're gonna notice in year one, you'll have paid more in fees with life insurance. So what we're gonna do is take a 10 year snapshot. We jump ahead 10 years and all of a sudden, you're saying, hey, wow, these numbers changed. Now we've been paid out already 25,000 in taxes. So we're 25,000 behind, but look at this. All of a sudden, the 401k fees are higher than they are in life insurance. So with life insurance, we've actually saved about $1,500. So we jump ahead another 10 years to 65, and now you're gonna notice all of a sudden, we've paid more than $51,000 in 401k fees than going with the life insurance. So in the past, life insurance, it was never wanted to be discussed what you're actually paying for, what the fees are, what we're doing is we're actually breaking down what the fees truly are. So at the end of the day, Mr. and Mrs. Client, with the death benefit, along with the taxes, along with the fees mixed in, the total advantage of having the life insurance policy versus the 401k is about 328,000. So you're gonna notice at this point, we're gonna start pulling money out. In other words, it's retirement time. This client has an account balance over here of 460,000 versus 411,000 when we start looking at life insurance. So now we do a 75, we look at the next comparison, and I want you to notice at age 73 in the 401k, you run out of money. So now we're looking at a total savings with the life insurance of 141 grand. We save 77,000 in fees, or 59,000 ahead in income, plus the death benefit. It's a $600,000 total advantage by going with the life insurance. And now when it starts to get real fun and real interesting, because this plan right here is completely ran out of money. Now this person was socking away a thousand bucks a month, which is not bad at age 45, and they're gonna run out of money at age 73. And once again, that's assuming a 7% rate of return. So when we jump ahead another one, look at the total advantage at this point. We're getting up to a million dollars. But more importantly, you're gonna notice that this client with the life insurance product is still able to pull out a retirement income. Whereas, like we said before, this person ran out of money over here at age 73. 
We take another snapshot 10 years forward, and all of a sudden we look at the total advantage of about 1.2 million. So really at the end of the day, if I'm gonna put two plants in front of you, A or B, which one do you want? If you pick A, you're not really paying attention here, because plan B ends up being a $1.2 million better plan for you for retirement. The person that put this calculator together, it's not yet ready for market. It's still in the testing stage. It should be ready here coming up in the next month or so. So what we're doing is we're creating an interest list when it does become ready. If you want to be on that interest list and contacted when it's ready to go, you can simply go ahead and click on the link provided saying add me to the list. And I'm telling you, the coolest thing about this calculator is it's taking all these 30, 40 page proposals and put them all into one calculator with one tool that you can sit in front of a client and really compare apples to apples and uh, from there close more deals. So I hope you're excited about it as much as I am and I, I look forward to uh, some feedback on this.